ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Cider Pop Central. It's been a little while since I've done a Cider Pop, hasn't it? But boy howdy, I am back with a bang today. Because I was doing my shopping in my local Aldi the other day, and I just happened to go past the alcohol aisle, and I saw these three cans lined right up next to each other, and I looked at them and thought, they look so bonkers, I've got to get them. So I bought all three, and today, I know I normally do things in date order and everything, but I couldn't sit around and wait on this one because it's just that crazy. Today, I have Taurus, well, Aldi's Taurus range, a can of their bubblegum English cider. Yep, you heard me right. Bubblegum cider pop. Just when you think you've heard it all, eh? Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say about this. I mean, the other the other two, they've, they've kind of gone for like a confectionery theme around them because the other ones are lemon sherbet and strawberry laces or something like that. Uh, so yeah, good, uh, yeah, good, good start here. So all of them come in these, uh, 330 mil cans. Now, the strange thing is it says right on the front in a big old bold let, um, numbering is it's only 3.4% ABV. So instantly I look at this and I think this is not cider at all. The only reason they've got away with this is there's obviously 35% minimum apple juice content in this and they've just thrown flavorings and whatnot into it. This to me looks like one of those like pre-mixed cocktail cans that the youngsters have quite a few of before they go out on the town and I don't know, go clubbing and puke in the streets or something like that. Uh, yeah, so, so already, yeah. I mean, maybe I'm judging it a bit too harshly. I mean, they've not even got the can open yet. You know, this, this could be the next best thing. Premium quality, well, there you go. Two buzzwords right off the bat. Premium quality flavored cider. There we are. That is all the information that you get on here as well. Um, it is a bubblegum flavored pear cider. Ah, right, okay. So that in itself is a bit of an oxymoron because a pear cider is technically a perry. A pear cider is cider that's had pears added into it. Very confusing. Anyway, yeah, I don't, there's not a lot else I can really say about this. So the only, oh, it's vegan. So there you go, it's, it's vegan. All you vegans out there, you can have this if you want. Oh, oh I didn't mention this. It came at the princely sum of 99 pence a can. So am I going to feel cheated? Let's get this, uh, let's get this can cracked open and just see. Um, I've already made some made a post about these on, on Facebook and uh, yeah, the uh, general consensus is um, just, what the hell? <laughs> okay, yeah, that is just overwhelming sweetness. Okay, yeah, let's, let's get it poured. Oh my giddy aunt. Uh, are you, are you guys seeing this? What the... Bloody hell is this colour. Uh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, I got the smell. Um, it's slightly carbonated, as you can see, and uh, don't adjust your settings. This is what it looks like. This is the colour. It's a luminous bright blue. Wow, okay. This just looks like a WKD blue, or I'll tell you what it reminds me of. That colour reminds me of St. Helia Blueberry that I reviewed about 10 or so years ago. And that was absolutely abysmal. So, um, yeah. Bright blue, a colour that cider shouldn't be. And, yep, I don't, yeah. The, the room is just full of some sort of sweet fragrance. I mean, I suppose it smells of bubblegum, I guess, but, oh boy, yeah, this is, um, this smells insanely sweet already. I would not be funny, if I got given this, I wouldn't think it was a cider. I mean, what are they, oh, I don't know. Let, um, shut up, let's just, let's just taste it. Okay, cheers everyone. Bubblegum cider pop, whatever next, here we go. Oh. <coughs> okay. Oh. Oh yeah, that is um Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's bubblegum, alright. 
Oh, okay. Oh, I can feel my teeth rotting already. Um, oh, this isn't cider. This isn't cider. I don't care how you dress it up or how you try and protest it. This isn't cider. Uh, what, what makes this? So what makes this a cider? I mean, it must have minimum juice con content in it, but this isn't cider. This is just a, this is an alco pop. It's WKD Blue repackaged. Oh my, I mean, why? Why? I mean, yeah, it's just... It's ridiculously sweet. It's cloying. Thick. It's... It's got, yeah, it's like, it's like perfumey, aromatic, not even aromatic, it's just, yeah, perfumey, pungent, just overly sweet, sickly, all, all those, all these words that you can think of. I mean, I suppose, yeah, it, it tastes of bubblegum, but I mean, come, oh, come on, guys, really, what is this? Seriously, English cider, I mean, who makes this for Aldi? I wouldn't be surprised if it's something like Brothers or something like that because they've just revamped their um they've revamped their packaging and everything you know they put them into cans of this size actually and they were like three point six percent but they've like more generic flavors and all the weird and wacky and wonderful ones you know like the cherry bakewell and toffee apple they've just got rid of them I wouldn't be surprised if um they've you know, had their hand in this oh I mean what we what do I make of it what, I mean. Even it, even as just like a fizzy alcoholic beverage, it's not great because it's just really sweet. It that's all it is. It's just sweet, and it's not even gonna get you drunk quickly because it's only three point four percent. Which kind of these this is what it's meant to do, you know, like the pre mixed cocktails and everything. There at least five percent. So you have like two or three cans of that, and you're feeling a little merry before you go out. Three point four percent isn't gonna get you sozzled before you go out on the town, is it? Um, oh, man, okay. <laughs> final, final taste for a final verdict, I guess? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's enough for me. I don't need any more of that. Um, this is atrocious. This, this is absolutely abysmal. My mind, is, my mind boggles as to who comes up with this sort of stuff. Seriously. I don't normally get angry on this channel, but I'm kind of angry now that the word cider has been emblazoned on the front of this can because there is no indication at all that this is in any which way a cider. It is just, it is WKD Blue repackaged and sold for cheap at 99p and everything. And even if it wasn't a cider or even a cider pop, it's still not great. It's still not great. It's too low ABV for, you know, the sort of thing that, you know, young people and everything get and everything. Not generalising, of course, but, you know, it, that's kind of what they're marketing it towards, isn't it? Um, and, I mean, just look at it. It's bright blue. Come on. Seriously. Um, people are just going to buy this for the novelty value, and that's pretty much it. So, um, oh boy, wow, yeah, that is absolutely, absolutely abysmal. Um, don't even, don't even pretend to try, to try and buy this, you know, save you 99 pence, don't get this, you know, the, the more, the more people that don't buy this sort of stuff, the less likely we're going to see it on the supermarket shelves, at least that's my reckoning anyway. For a final verdict, Aldi's bubblegum atrocity is getting a 1 out of 10. My God, this is just, yeah. I need to go and rinse my mouth out with uh, with something because this is just absolutely just, just don't, just don't bother. Don't bother. I wish I hadn't bothered. That's 99 pence I'm never getting back. Um, I'm going to cut this now because otherwise I'm just going to go into a massive tirade and everything. So I hope you enjoyed watching this spiral into depravity and everything. And um, I'll see you on the next review. I'm not having any more of that. That's going down the sink. So... Cheers. See you next time.